What you see here is a relatively complicated looking uh, diagram of the process called supercoiling or also known as DNA condensation. And if you think it looks complicated, then let me assure you it is complicated. But the good news is, is you do not have to know all of these detailed steps here. You just have to appreciate um, and understand the two terms condensation and supercoiling. So let's start out from the very uh, basic. What you see over here um, on the left side, this is uh, DNA. It's supposed to be our double helix DNA molecule. And in one single nucleus of a eukaryote, you have around two meters um, of this DNA. Now that's a lot of DNA. And you're able to fit in the whole DNA into uh, the small nucleus because the DNA is wrapped up um, and we say it's condensed um, um, around proteins which you see over here these are histone proteins and you can see that the dna over here is wrapped around it um, and uh, if we zoom out a little bit it sees you see these histone proteins these little blue things here in the middle and it's wrapped around two times over here then there's the next histone and so on so the dna is not simply loose um, in a eukaryote but is highly organized and uh, and condensed uh, it basically made denser um, so how does this look over here if uh, you add histone protein h1 um, then you can actually see that these little structures over here which are called nucleosomes so one of these uh, things over here that's a nucleosome, and this one over here is also a nucleosome. You can see that they're arranged in a very highly organized uh, manner. And this uh, over here um, is referred to as chromatin. And that is the important, uh, an important uh, word you have to know. And this is uh, the so-called loose DNA um, that uh, is present inside a nucleus. So inside a nucleus, uh, most of the DNA is not uh, present in this form over here, um, but it is rather present in the so-called 30 nanometer fiber. You don't have to know that. Just remember in the form of chromatin. This one over here is important. And this chromatin over here, it is now wound up further and further and further until at the end over here you see the so-called the chromosomes and that's one chromosome over here chromosome and there is a very uh, common question is what is a chromosome made of the chromosome is made of two things this is of course dna and also protein and uh, so and all these steps in the middle over here in between over here uh, they basically simply try to show you how the chromatin fiber is wrapped up further and further and further to form a chromosome and this process over here um, of uh, is referred to as condensation that's the forming of chromosomes out of chromatin by supercoiling you can actually also say that the formation of chromatin is also a form of a uh, uh, condensation in the in the sense that it's denser than loose dna but strictly speaking because this is the form that the dna is present in the nucleus when it's not dividing this process over here we commonly referred to as, as condensation so condensation the dna condensation um so it, the dna becomes more dense now what is supercoiling the supercoiling is the wrapping of DNA around histone proteins over here, but actually that's an incomplete uh, um, description over here because it continues to coil, plus the coiling um, of the chromatin. Coiling of chromatin to form chromosomes. Chromatin to form chromosomes. So you might wonder, what is the difference now between condensation and supercoiling? Well, condensation happens because of supercoiling. That is, in that sense, that these two terms really um, overlap um, a lot. So um, you might now wonder, why is this necessary to undergo condensation? And because before cell division... Um, this happens and these chromosomes over here can be moved around in the cell without problems. Um, chromatin 
um, cannot, because it's relatively loose, cannot be moved around in a cell without problems. Um, but these chromosomes over here are nice packets, they're nice and dense, and it's much easier to move them around. You cannot do that with loose DNA or with chromatin. So let's move on now to the next uh, page, and I hope that this works because there's a little video over here. And I would like to show you now what um, supercoiling looks like using an example of a rubber band over here, because uh, I think that's uh, a nice analogy of what supercoiling is. So let's try to play, st uh, play the video over here. Okay, so that's uh, of course a rubber band. Let me move the cursor out of the way. Um, and uh, over here right now, I'm forty forming the chromatin. So that is the the loose DNA, so to say, which is present in 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 a cell, the chromatin. And you see it's wrapped up. And you see what happens when you kind of move it together. You can actually see that these are so-called supercoils which are forming over here. So these are supercoils. And what we have at the end is we have a supercoiled piece of a rubber band. And I call this now my chromosome. Okay, so that's basically um, an analogy from uh, an everyday experience that you might have. So, And let's decondense the DNA right now again. Okay, so I'm, I'm making it loose again and I'm condensing it again. And now it's not uh, completely loose. Okay, so that is basically the and the idea um, the idea of supercoiling. Okay, um, and uh, that's basically it uh, for for right now.